Tropical Storm 22S has formed along the coast of Madagascar. Uh, still missing a name at the moment, we're waiting on Matteo France to give it one. Currently 15.2 degrees south, 52 degrees east right now, which puts it just off the coast of northern Madagascar still. At 7pm Mauritius time, which is where it's expected to go, this March the 13th, it had winds of 40 miles per hour and an estimated wind, uh, pressure of uh, 1,000 millibars, moving actually south-southwest at the moment, but we expect it to turn that corner and then move off pretty quickly towards the southeast. CDPS is looking at stage 4 right now um, for the island of Rodrigues. That is uh, under the event that this storm uh, gives a very close pass to the island of Rodrigues, still uncertain whether it's going to do that or not, or whether it'll end up going closer towards Mauritius. Here it is right now then, um, as we said there, 40 miles per hour, um, one or two agencies, well the JTWC going a bit higher with 45 miles per hour, Mateo France still at tropical depression stage, 111 miles from Antalaha in Madagascar, 492 from Port Louis, and 812 from Rodrigues. Of course, the storm expected to, to, to draw much closer to those islands in the next few days. So that is the comparison of agencies right now at the bottom on the wind estimate, and you can see the Mateo France track map at the top left there. You can see it there again moving in between the islands. It's a close one. Uh, here's the Force 13 cone over the next five days as well. We're expecting significant intensification. The model's potentially rapid intensification they're depicting. Uh, possibly peaking as a Category 3 as we get towards Day 4 and 5 there. You can see it passing very close, potentially, to Rodrigues. Of course, the cone is there for a reason, and the center of the storm could pass anywhere within that cone, and indeed the edge of that cone riding very close to Mauritius as well. Well, this is what the uh, GFS model is showing. First of all, the precipitable water imagery here. You can see there uh, the storm developing, the eye starting to feature there as well, passing north of Mauritius there um, and not too far from Rodrigues, which I don't think we can see very well on that map. And then it dwindles away there. You can also see potentially another cyclone forming behind that as well in the Mozambique Channel. So that could be a system for the northwestern part of Madagascar in about a week's time. Um, you can see it there forming just as this upcoming storm passes away. Current sea surface temperatures are very favourable for significant development right now. Of course it requires 26, 27 degrees Celsius. This is in Fahrenheit, but you can see in there around 29, maybe 30 degrees Celsius there uh, ahead of the storm. This is what the GFS is saying. Uh, hurricane equivalent status by the 24 hour mark. So that's a significant intensification phase there. And there it is moving very close to Rodrigues, only delivering tropical storm force winds on that graphic, then broadening and weakening as it turns post-tropical as it dives towards the southeast. So GFS calling for a category three, JTWC just shy of that as well. Uh, we don't have to HWRF on this latest run, but in recent runs it's been very bullish, calling for category four status on more than one occasion. Wind shear very low in the next 48 hours, aided by those sea surface temperatures of around 29 degrees Celsius, so there could be a rapid intensification phase very soon. Uh, relative humidity is looking fair at this time, although there is quite a bit of dry air around the storm's peripherals, particularly towards the southwest over Madagascar. You can see here on the satellite imagery just what is going on um, in real terms right now. See the yellow areas there on the water vapor imagery show dry air um, which could potentially intrude into the storm and this is another infrared view still rather disorganized at the minute and somewhat broad as well influence from this storm extending all the way across the Mozambique Channel right now too uh, but we expect that it will continue to get better organized over the coming days. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. To see the full list of ultimate fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash Force 13 slash join.
with a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.